Hello everyone and welcome to your Wednesday watch of 2022. Um, a little bit different this week, I'm going to be doing one extreme nail. Um, basically, I got, it's nearly the end of the day on Wednesday and I'm like, oh fuck a duck, I've been stuck in crimbo limbo and I forgot what day it is and um, yeah. So I thought, right, okay, we're going to do an extreme nail just on the one. But I'm wanting to protect my nails. So they have got, um, I'm trying to grow them a little bit. So I've got a bit of build gel on. Didn't want to bugger it up. So I'm using some nail guards that are from Katie Barnes's web website. They were the Take Two ones. Um, but I know she has her own brand now. And when I run out, I'll be buying those ones because I'm sure they are lovely. So that just protects my nail. So your natural nail or over this one. And it means that I can pick this nail straight off. No damage, no nothing. So, you know, um, when I want to do something crazy and I don't want to keep it, this is where I'll do it. Um, so yeah, so it will just pop straight off. But they're not like one of those cheap ones where you try and file and it doesn't come off. So... Right, we're going to create a stiletto nail. So you have seen, I placed my form, I'm closing that form up and I've just tailored the forms at the lowest points of my natural nail. Um, apologies, um, I didn't, I, well, I go out of shot a little bit. It's really tough and difficult to film yourself and I did keep going out of shot, so apologies for that, but I think you'll get the gist and it is a corker of a nail at the end. So I hope you enjoy. So when you're creating a stiletto, you need to get that really, really, really nice and narrow. So you can see I'm squeezing it from underneath to make sure I've got that lovely point that I desire. And I'm going to go to the right to the end of the form. So what we were trying to achieve is a lovely straight lower arch. So I'm placing a clear bead here. Um, making sure that I get up into the stress points of the natural nail, and then I'll start to work it down. Now, this isn't going to go to the end of this form, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just stretch it as far as it can go, and then I'll add a few more beads as well. Um, brr, lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? Not just and clear. Um, oh, yeah, I am going to work upon the form on this as well. So sometimes I'll take the form off, I could file, you You know, if you don't feel happy working on the form, you could always take it off, file that clear base layer, and then go on design. Um, but I decided not to, and I'm working just on the form. I am a little bit out of shot here, but halfway through, I kind of noticed, ta-da! And um, I do try and, and work a little bit differently, but yeah. It was dead tricky, dead tricky. But like I say, I was running out of time with the day and I just thought, I know what, let's go crazy and go go for a really super long sculpted stiletto. Because you don't always see me sculpting as well. So yeah, I'm trying here. You can see that the main objective of this stiletto is to create a straight lower arch. And that is from the lowest point of the natural nail, a completely straight line to the point of it. No tilting up, no nothing. It's got to be dead straight. And I run that, um, I run the acrylic right to the end of it as well. So right to where it's closed. If you stop before where, where it's not closed, then you're going to end up with a teeny tiny C curve. So you've got to run it along the top of the form basically um, to get the severe point. And it's all to do with form fit and where you're placing that form. Like I said in a previous one, online I have got how to sculpt a stiletto and I'm not giving it all away. Um, like I said in the other one, um, the form is not on completely straight. There's different things that you need to do and all the secrets are online. Remember, you can always use the discount code Kylie. Um, so yeah, how to do how to sculpt really that's on there as well i know a lot of people find it quite daunting um but i think i break it down so you can understand it all the videos show you how you could do it on a bit of nail a hook nail a standard nail um and yeah there's loads of different um things that you can learn on there so next thing is my um reverse wrench 
You do get to see when I'm working on myself because I've tried to angle it so that you could see what I'm doing. So that first bead, I've made sure the back of it is lovely and flush. And then I stretch it, stretch it down with my brush using the sides of it to tailor that wall. You can see there's a product of a wall that I build. I'll perfect it each side with my brush, the side of the brush, and just check in that it's deep enough and my wings are the same height before I come in and I'll be doing the back bead. Now, the back bead is going to contain the apex. Now, I think you will see from this video that apexes don't need to be huge. My apex is not massive on this nail because the structure will run all the way through a stiletto underneath it. And I do show you that. Um, so yeah, let's put this bead. So I place it. I'll come above and behind it with the tip of my brush. Now the tip of the brush makes it nice and flush. I'll wipe down each side wall, gone. Round to the next one, tip, 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 and gone. Now that product there in the middle, that is my apex. Don't wipe, 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 because it'll be gone. Pull it forward, stretch it, work it, leave the product where you need it. And I am going to show you how my apex is going to come from the cuticle. It rises up and then it falls down, and that's what we want from a stiletto shape. It rises up to the apex and falls down to the tip. So yeah, just be mindful of where you're placing the acrylic. A lot of people, you'll place it and just wipe, 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 um, without really looking at what we're actually doing. So that first bead of clear, you know, it is um, set, and it's setting really slow because it's really, really thin as well. So I will go in and just pinch it, pinch it even more. You can see how close it is. Um, and I will, with my pinching tool, in a moment, pinch the um, reverse nail bed just to bring it in slightly. Not too much, um, but yeah, I will pull that in. Now, in a moment, I am going to refine the shape of this smile line with my metal file, but I'm going to do it off camera because I'm, it's just awkward. But just, so you let any, just letting you know, I do file that smile line with the metal file. Back at you with three super duper glitters. That first one there is um, ballet slippers. It is a very, very holographic shard. We've got the ocean blue um, metallic super fine and this one is called azure and it's squares uh, and there's like teal and blue and pinks and i've never used it i don't think so i thought i'd go in and give that a bash now picking up a teeny tiny clear bead of acrylic i will then dip that into the pot so clear bead of acrylic tiny eye bogey dipping it into the glitter and then working it onto the nail. Believe me, I will get a little bit more in shot in a minute, but hopefully you will get the gist. So working that like water, painting it down, making sure that that lower arch remains lovely and straight, and working everything really, really thin, because you'll see that I've got this, well, I've got three different glitters. I've got a base layer, three different glitters, and I'm going to encapsulate it, and it still won't be super, super duper nice. Um, I'll then go on and I'm going to do it with the um, the ballet slippers in the pink and then I'll be putting the azure across it as well and then I'll be capping it all in clear. Now I don't need to cap the whole nail because that um, cover pink is a core powder which kind of matched my bloody, uh, matched me um, build gel perfectly didn't it? Shame the snail is not staying. I picked the kids off the bus and they were like mum your nail oh my god I was like it's not stopping. I did try and record me popping it off, but these nail guards are really good and it took some getting off. It really wasn't as easy as, as it can be, but um, that's a good thing though, yeah? It is off now and my nail isn't damaged. It's all perfect, and lovely, and hopefully I will get nails. I am the worst nail tech. I'm really bad, um, but when I don't have my acrylics, I pick my skin as well, but we're coming up to the lambing. Well, we lamb um, April time, so we're not we're not there yet. But I just thought I'll tell you what, Kai, let's try and get some nice nails. Um, so I definitely can't wear nails in April, because you all know that I am elbow deep in sheep badge, and some people noticed in my last video they could just hear sheep 
bleating in the background. And that is my life. That is, um, I live up on this hill in South Shropshire with the sheep and the goats. Um, Princess Wonky Eye, my goat, still won't let me touch her. She's an absolute shit bag. Um, yeah, she's, yeah, she's not very nice. Um, so we've got horses and cats and dogs and tiny, tiny humans. And yeah, so that's my life. And um, I do lambing and and stuff like that. So I'm going to go a little bit natural for a while. <laughs> I bet you next week I've got massive claws on. I can't, I can never stick to it. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. This is like my nail journey. We'll refer back to this. Um, new year, new me. Kai's got natural nails. Um, still fat though, fuck. Um, we're working on that one. Right, back to this nail. Can you see that that lower arch is dead straight from my natural nail to the tip of the enhancement, okay? And that's what you need. Um, yeah, right, I'm going to let you watch the rest of this. Trust me, you need to watch right to the end because this nail is fucking like, oh. God, um, Fanny flutters. Yeah, it yeah it did. It gave me a little bit of a little twitch, a little tingle, um, and I hope it does for you guys too. If it does give you a little, if it does give you tuppence a tingle, um, please subscribe because every Wednesday I'll have more of it for you. Um, hopefully next Wednesday. Now that we're in January and I'm back to normal ish, um, I'll, I'll remember what day of the week it is and bring more. But I think it's quite nice to do something a bit different. Let me know what you think. Have you enjoyed a bit of bit of sculpting, a bit of extreme, something different? What would you want to see? Do you, what else do you want to see this year? Let me know. And like I say, please subscribe, comment, like, whatever. Tell a friend, share. Um, because yeah, I've just I'm gonna be in your ears and there for you to watch every week now. And uh, that's it. I've got to go. I'm waffling. Um, Okay, hope you enjoy it all. Speak soon. Bye.
who's still watching, eh? Who's like a Marvel diehard fan, knows just to hang on to the end credits, because she might be back, and I am. Um, right, don't go anywhere. You've come this far. There's going to be a really feckin' lush little a picture of this nail. Um, and if you want more of this finger, head to the Instagram. Um, and in all its glory, you'll see it again. It's bloody lush. Um, I am going to go now, though. I am. Um, leave me a funny emoji or something. Oh, I tell you what. So I know that you've stayed right to the end. Leave me a goat emoji. And I'll, um, I'll come back and say something. I don't know. But yeah, at least I'll know he's a diehard. Love you all.